Hey guys, this is Manx Jules and welcome to Diablo 3. It's been a while since I uploaded a video, so I thought I'll show you what I've been up to lately. Not Minecraft, um, plenty of different things, but Diablo 3 the most, as you might know if you're a fan of Diablo 3. We're into our first official season, and this is my first official season character. It's a Crusader, because I like the Crusaders. Um, I'm level 70, level 74 Paragon, and I'm doing quite good. Still got a long way to go. I've got three pieces of my hand set. Gloves, the shoulders and the helm. I've got a nice, fairly nice uh, chest armor, legendary chest armor. Which I've put three red gems in for the strength. Um, nothing spectacular everywhere else. The weapon I've got is Butcher's Carver with one socket. It's not great, but it's the best I've got. Uh, this is the main piece. I just got this a couple of days ago. Jacking board. If you don't know, this gives you Blessed Shield ricochets, six additional enemies. Um, and I'm after a weapon, Gear Falcon's Foot. Or Gear Falcon's foot, which takes off. There's no uh, wrath cost to using that, so you just spam blasted shield. It's known as the Captain America build. There's plenty of other people on YouTube showing off the build if you want to see it in action. I haven't got the Gear Falcon's foot yet, so this does cost me wrath. But we're going to put it into action. We're going to do some rifts and some greater rifts. As you can see, I've got some of the bits of uh, set items here. The three pieces of the black bones set. Uh, three slots in that chest piece, which is nice. Uh, a couple of legendary weapons. That was my old weapon. You can see it gives better toughness and healing, but uh, lower damage. <clears throat> Some other nice pieces. I've got the Blade of Prophecy, which everybody seems to be using. But it's 28% less damage. And it's mainly for a condemned build. Which, if I can get some other pieces, I may try. And this is my main stash. You can see all my legendary gems here. All rank 1, apart from this one. I'm upgrading this one. And these are the ones you get from Greater Rifts and upgrading Greater Rifts. So that's about it. Um, for the character, I'll go a quick show of my skills. You've got Punish with Celerity. But my belt actually gives me all the punish effects every room. Obviously, blessed shield with chatter and throw to get even more splits in the shield. And that's my secondary. And then the other four bombard uh, bombardments, obviously, for big damage. I correct champion profit to give me some uh, tankiness in sticky situations. Heaven's Fury for a nice damage burst and for Lanch just to help me out. Um, this is the one skill I'm messing around with or one slot I'm messing around with rather. Trying to find out what's best. Get, taking a Michael Law for example. Go for more defense. Uh, go for the steed so I can get out of places, sticky situations but I've not really found myself in many yet. So let's get to it. Have I got ooh, just the one? I tell you what, we'll jump into a regular rift first. See if we can get another one of these. These are the keystones of trials. You need these to enter great rifts. And you're supposed to get them off the rift bosses on any level. That's what I've read. I've only ever got them off uh, T1 bosses. Let's jump in. T1 I can usually handle pretty much okay. T2 is doable, but it takes longer. And T3 is about my limit at the minute. And as for Greater Rifts, I can do up to level 12. At level 13, I'm just a little bit too slow. Only by a, a a bit. If I can just up my DPS a bit, 
but probably past 13. And that's not that good really, because the top level Crusaders soloing can get up to level 40 greater rates. And I can do 13, so just by that alone you can tell I've got a long way to go. And really this build is made for uh, crowd control on lots of crowds. Single target, it's not bad, I mean you've got the, the beam, Heaven's Fury, uh, the flanks pop them out, and you've got the bombardment. On rift bosses it hardly dents them. But I mean that's to be expected. On a regular rift boss that's fine, then. but if, you, if you're on a greater rift and you're pushing for time because you have to do it within 15 minutes. It could be a challenge to take that riff boss down if you've only got a minute left. Let me know in the comments on if you watch this on YouTube. Whether you like it with the music in the background or you prefer no music. I'm trying something different on Twitch and I had to find some um, royalty free music. So everything you listen to at the minute is by Kevin McLeod. He does a lot of royalty free music which you can use on YouTube. So you've probably seen it by now, but this is the Blessed Shield. You can see it better when there's a lot of things to kill. But it just chucks his shield out and it bounces around a lot. But you can see how much each one's taking out morale. If I can get that weapon that produces the... I mean eliminates the cost, the wrath cost to it. You can just spam it non-stop. At the minute I can probably get or maybe five out before I run out of wrath. That usually does most jobs. I mean that was four and I've run out. And then I can just take everything out with a couple of punish blows. A lot of people seem to use slash with the uh, seal room. I tried it and I don't like it. There's probably a reason for some builds using it. Well, it's, it's output was 230% um, I think and punish is 320 and it doesn't sound like a big difference but it is especially since I've got that belt that gives me all the effects of every room for punish that definitely helps now what's this? Charlie I like these, but I prefer them when it's the conduit, the one that fires lightning bolts out everywhere. You just run through a, a rift and zap everything down without stopping. Unfortunately, they don't spawn in greater rifts, so would kind of make it a bit too easy. This is as bad as some of the greater rifts, the mobs seem to be nowhere to be found. And when you do find them, there's like one or two. That's all my crusader ever says. My wrath is low. He never says, oh my wrath's high.
I have got a couple of the seasonal drops as well on this character. One I can show you now, actually. Well, let's take this guy out. It's actually a follower drop. This one's for the Enchantress. She can't die, which is a bonus, because in T1s and T2s she tends to eat the big one. Um, lots of intelligence, lots of vitality, that's about it. Crit hit damage. I mean, it's nothing special, but the fact that she can't die is a big bonus. And I'm also messing about with these two skills. These two are a given. These two... Charm or Forceful Push. I can't seem to find a difference between the two. They're both as equally useless. And this one is uh, reducing damage from ranged attacks or increasing armor by 3%. Again, that's personal preference, I think. I don't think any of the stuff is uh, seasonal. It may be that. No, not that one. I've got another one in my. Um, and moustache, and I've got a green belt, which is um, part one of a two set item. I forget what the other piece is, it's a belt and something else. It's nothing special, but it'd be nice to have the set. I mean, I could probably use it on my non season crusader after the season is finished. Seriously, the lack of mobs. What's going on, Diablo? My wrath is low. I like this piece of music. I heard it the other day for the first time. I can't for the life of me remember where I heard it. It's in another game, I'm almost certain of it. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Again, it's all Kevin McCloyd stuff. I think I'm saying that right. M A C L E O D McCloyd. McCleod? That doesn't sound right. But yeah, this is all his music. I like say I'm almost certain I've heard this somewhere else. Maybe some indie game or something like that. Sounds like I know it's not rogue like I say I'm almost certain it's not. Sounds like something that that I'd have in it. That kind of game. I could be way off. But I have heard it somewhere before. Ooh. Oh, it's only a plan. The one thing I'm wanting to see is a uh, one-handed flail. That's that Jay Falcon's foot that I'm after. I can't get it to drop anywhere. I've even spent thousands of uh, blood shards on Kadala, but she's just cheap. Uh, legendary two-handed mace. Hmm, that might be worth a try. That's what I'm using now, isn't it? Axe. Close enough. Yeah, I might test that when I'm finished here. If I ever get finished here. Spam them shields. It's a 
couple of other builds I want to try out on this Crusader as well. One of them I mentioned briefly earlier, which was the Condemned build. And I think... I think that requires Fate of the Fell, I'm not sure if it's that or something else. Oh, uh, that's a two-handed file. The Condemned build's supposed to be really good for... Oh, I just noticed another plan. It's supposed to be good for um, solo play, which is what I'm doing in a minute. And the other one is uh, the shotgun build, which, oh, I think that might be better than that, actually. And instead of your Heaven's Fury coming down from above, it goes outwards from you. And it's basically called the shotgun build, because you just fire that at everything. Apparently that's what a lot of people are using to get the high level rifts to solo them. But the Jacking Board Shield was the first thing in the drop, so that we'll, we'll try the one of the three builds out that I've been wanting to try for a while. It's good, but I won't really know how good until I get that, that weapon. So what was that sat item plan? Captain Crimson's trimmings. Yeah, I don't think I have that. I think I have it on my regular, but not in season. Aha, here we go. Zap everything. There's probably nothing left now, and I'm going to the next rift. Ooh, or maybe not. Sweet. I'll even get a few zaps in on him. Bonus! Wow, that was quick. Nothing special. That beam of legendary you can see there is another keystone of trials. And I'll show you that in the next video. Or if you're watching live, it'll be in a few minutes. And the reason I'm splitting up for YouTube is for size and uploading purposes. And that's it. Normally I'd carry on and finish off the rift. But we're pretty much done here. Couple of plans. Keystone. That's not bad. Oh, and the, the mace. Was it a mace or was it a plan? It was a plan. Not bad. All the yellow will probably be jumped to me now. I think the only yellow piece I've got is the boots. And yeah, I've had them for a while. I've not found anything better. So we'll trash all that. Check these plans out. Sunder. Chance to sunder the ground your enemies walk on. Well, that's better than listening to the butcher. I wonder what sort of damage it gives that. Let's have a look. Mm, not bad, actually. That's not bad at all. If I can get a socket on that. Put in a green gem, I'd probably take up that damage a bit. And Captain Crimson's trimmings. What do we get? Regen 2000 life a second. Oops. Cooldown reduction, that's neat. Do with that. And uh, for three pieces, plus 50 resistance is nice. Reduce all resource costs. So what have we got? Waders, thrust and silk girdle. Thrust is pans. I could afford to lose them. The increased punish damage is nice, but if I can get a socket on it, no bother. 
and girdle, what's that going to be built? Yeah, that's the one I could do with not using. I don't know, I might make a setup and see how it goes. Um, but I'll do that off camera. Because that's not fun to watch me spend money in, in Enchantress. So let's just pop that in there for now. I'll work on that later. That piece of music again. So I'm going to stop recording briefly. I'll be back in just a second because I want to make a separate recording for the Greater Rift business. So I'll be back in just a tick. Don't go anywhere.